April 7, 2025, a day the Earth split open, a day when fire, steam, and ash surged from the world's core, a day when nature roared from Yellowstone to Japan, Hawaii to Iceland, and mankind stood powerless in awe and fear. Steamboat Geyser, Yellowstone National Park, USA. At precisely 8, 13 a.m. Mountain Time, Yellowstone National Park, a pristine wilderness and geological wonderland, transformed into the epicenter of terror. Steamboat Geyser, Earth's most powerful geyser, erupted with a violence not seen in recorded history. What began as a routine tremor escalated into a seismic nightmare. The ground shook so violently that seismographs maxed out across Wyoming. Trees cracked and fell. Bison stampeded in panic. The skies rumbled as if something deep beneath was tearing apart. Then it happened. A column of boiling water, ash, and sulfur shot 400 feet into the sky obliterating the silence of the morning. Within seconds, it was followed by a second, then a third, then a barrage of eruptions in rapid succession. Seven massive geyser blasts echoed across the basin in less than an hour. Hydrothermal pools overflowed and superheated mud burst from the ground. Park rangers issued a code red emergency evacuation. Entire boardwalks were consumed by steam and fire. Visitors fled, some screaming, others frozen in disbelief, phones shaking in their hands as they tried to capture history. But what terrified scientists more was what came next, a series of microquakes centered near the Yellowstone caldera itself. The magma chamber, the supervolcano that lies beneath, began showing signs of pressurization. Gas levels surged. GPS readings showed ground uplift. The USGS raised the volcanic alert level to its highest. Volcano warning, eruption possible within hours. Could this be the warning before a supervolcanic event? Is Yellowstone preparing to change the world forever? Mount Sakurajima, Japan. Half a world away at 4, 40, 2 p.m. local time. Japan's Mount Sakurajima, known to scientists as a ticking time bomb, finally detonated. The first blast was so powerful, it shattered windows across Kagoshima City. A thunderous explosion tore through the skies, sending a volcanic plume over 10 kilometers high. Lightning danced within the ash column. The city plunged into darkness as the sun vanished behind an apocalyptic gray wall. Massive pyroclastic flows raced down Sakurajima's flanks at over 100 miles per hour, incinerating everything in their path. Entire neighborhoods vanished under a carpet of burning ash and rock. Kagoshima Airport was shut down as ash rained down over runways and terminals. Over 115, zero people were ordered to evacuate immediately. Japanese geologists confirmed this was the largest Sakurajima eruption in 150 years, but there was more. Satellite data showed magma surging from the Ira caldera, the giant chamber beneath Sakurajima, expanding at a dangerous rate. Emergency broadcasts blared across TV and phones. This is not a drill. Seek shelter. Protect your lives. Kilauea Volcano, Big Island, Hawaii. Thousands of miles away in the Pacific, 
Hawaii was under siege from Kilauea, a terrifying new volcanic hybrid born from a rare fusion of Mauna Loa's scale and Niragongo's lethal speed. Locals say the volcano awoke with a roar like a thousand drums. At 2, 1 a.m. HST, a monstrous fissure split across the southeastern flank of the Big Island. Lava fountains erupted 450 feet into the sky, illuminating the darkness with a hellish glow. But this lava was no ordinary flow. It raced downhill like a river of death, reaching coastal towns in under 30 minutes. Entire communities were swallowed. Thousands fled in their pajamas. Gas stations exploded. Power grids collapsed. Cell towers melted in the heat. Lava surged into the ocean, sending acidic steam clouds into the air dangerous to breathe, lethal to marine life. For the first time in history, the U.S. declared a full volcanic martial law across Hawaii. Military helicopters plucked children and elderly from rooftops as lava filled streets like liquid glass. This, said one volcanologist, is the nightmare we never imagined would happen. Iceland's Hell Awakens and in the land of fire and ice, Iceland, the earth cracked open once more in a monstrous explosion. The Reykjanes Peninsula, already fractured by months of volcanic activity, erupted in its largest event since 1783. Entire hillsides were blasted away. A curtain of lava erupted across a five-mile stretch, melting everything in its path. The capital, Reykjavik, 30 miles away, was shaken to its core. Air traffic halted, homes buried. The Blue Lagoon, Iceland's geothermal gem, was overtaken by lava, now glowing red instead of azure blue. Rescue efforts became impossible as ash blanketed roads and created near zero visibility. Iceland's prime minister addressed the nation in a trembling voice. We are witnessing something beyond modern memory. The land is reshaping itself violently. The eruption sent ash clouds as far as Scotland and Ireland, sparking fears of transatlantic flight disruptions and a mini volcanic winter. Global impact, the Earth's chain reaction. Four eruptions, four corners of the Earth. One terrifying question, why now? Seismologists are baffled. Could Earth's tectonic plates be in a synchronized convulsion? Could deep mantle plumes be rising in multiple spots? Is this a natural coincidence? Or a sign of something far greater brewing below? Atmospheric experts warn of climate effects, 